Hello everybody, uh, my name is Dark Yeti, so hello YouTube, hello Twitch, uh, wherever you guys are watching this. Uh, today we're here to talk about the console port add-on, this uh, beautiful add-on. So whatever your reason for using the add-on, whether like me and your wrists start hurting when using the keyboard and mouse too long, or if you just like the idea of playing World of Warcraft with a controller, I'm going to be helping you guys figure out how to do that with this add-on. Like many of you, I'm sure, uh, I definitely struggled when I first installed this add-on. I've tried to use it probably four to six times. So without further ado, let's get into it. So um, when you first open up console port and you load into the game you're going to have uh, one of three choices to choose from now I've played with the PlayStation 4 controller I'm playing with an Xbox one controller now and I've also played with uh, my Logitech controller so whatever you have that actually registers as a controller it works um, uh, and when I was using the Logitech controller, I had it uh, set as an Xbox control. So you go ahead and you pick whichever control you want, and it'll automatically switch into that. So now you're in the game, you're moving around, you're jumping. You're, pre you're pressing things and you're like, ooh, this feels nice and smooth. Uh, so one of the first things that I think will help you guys go a long way is to remove, is to go into your controller settings. So you can either right click your mouse to get your mouse cursor back and then hit escape and controller or you can press the start button on your controller and then press B to open up your count support settings. So uh, one of the more helpful things for me uh, was getting the use of my RB button or my R1 button, right? Um, because by default it's set to your interact button. Now you see there it says oh, assigned to LB but for me, it is on RB. So what I do is I go and I disable that. And you might be wondering, but Yeti, how do you pick stuff up? Well, that's simple. You press in the right stick and your cursor will pop up, right? And then you press in the stick again and it opens up your loot table, your cursor goes away and then you get a B and uh, things of that nature and you'll be able to pick everything up um, and I'll be able to show you that in the video so when you first load it in this is what it looks like it's you know you see the X Y's and B's and LB's and all those things on your button so it's gonna take a little getting used to so here are a few tips to help you along the way with getting used to um, doing things in World of Warcraft using your controller. So we're going to go ahead and open up our console port again and we're going to go to bindings. And we're going to switch it from this interface, right, to this interface. This way it's much easier for you to see everything and figure things out. So the first place we're going to go to is targeting. Now, by default, your targeting is going to be set on something called Smart Target. Um, and what you want to do is go in here and switch that to Target Nearest Enemy. So, like, you're going to go here, you're going to go to Targeting, and whatever you're most comfortable with, set it to Target Nearest Enemy. What target nearest enemy is, if you've played World of Warcraft at all, is just hitting tab on your keyboard and tabbing between target and target and target and target. 
Um, and I, I guess we'll go ahead and show you that. Right here, we'll go to the training dummies. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's another issue. Unless it's actually a target, it won't... <laughs> Like it, it will not target the training dummies. So sorry about that. We'll go out into the actual world and target some stuff for you. So I'll just go quickly fly to Valshara so I can show you how smooth the targeting system is. And then we'll show you a little bit more on how to make the buttons look better because right now you probably feel well this kind of looks messy for a controller and I would agree with you uh, my my UI definitely doesn't look like this I do not favor the World of Warcraft UI there is an action bar add-on specifically for console port uh, called count support action bar and I will turn that on in a little bit to show you guys what that looks like how it looks like and explain what you need to do to have it nice and uh, definitely all the credit goes to I believe his name is monk the creator of uh, this add-on but it definitely took me a while to actually get to a point where I was able to use the add-on very consistently and I was able to level my druid from 100 to 110 I'm able to tank dungeons I'm able you know to fight monsters and do do all those things I'm able to heal anything I want so, so you see here and it's not targeting <laughs> so a bit of a fumble here but you can see here how easy and smooth combat is uh, with the control. And then to pick up items, like I said, uh, hold in the right click once you take off the interact button and then right click again. There you go. So now I'm not sure why it's not showing me why it's not letting me target so what I'm gonna do is go import uh, my buttons there we go so as you can see here I can target the enemy perfectly fine and we'll go around to these other enemies over here so you can see that I can actually tab between the targets so you just have to figure out a button that's um, comfortable for you and I'll show you in the count support add-on where my button is placed um, so it's actually with uh, LT and A so under A A and LT interact with uh, it should be target nearest enemy but this says interact with mouse over which is completely wrong but it is LTA so it's the target the nearest enemy which is what your tab does so you're just gonna figure out whatever is most comfortable for you for targeting for me it was holding down LT since it's already a modifier and then pressing A so I just LTA to switch between targets okay and the next thing that will help you a lot is uh, finding where your raid cursor button is so if you were like me and you wanted to actually heal people and you didn't know how to do it well you need this little icon that pops up called the raid cursor now mine by default was set on LT and start or actually no it was something else and I set it to LT and start because it just felt most comfortable for me and then once you have that like I can uh, I can LT B for my healing touch, right? And 
and it even as you can see there shows you how you're casting and then you can easily once that's open use the d-pad to switch between targets and, and the like um, the other things that you'll probably want to know is uh, figure out where your map is um, inside all these buttons and, and just make sure you have everything on comfortable buttons and make sure the buttons are actually working for you um, once you do that and you kinda get a handle of so like my my map is on LB and select and as you can see here you can easily go through and select everything so once you get comfortable with your buttons and you're at a point where okay I'm moving around correctly and nicely but my UI still looks kind of wonky you know I want to make it look nice and so the simple solution is to download the uh, which is supposedly it's still in alpha or beta or whatever it is you're gonna go to your add-ons and you're gonna turn on the console port action bar and reload your UI unless you don't have the console port action bar and so you have something that looks like this. Now when I first loaded it in, it didn't actually load right away. And there were big red X's over all the buttons. Now to get rid of that simply, you're just going to go into your console port. You're going to go to interface and you're going to look for console port bar, right? And it, right now there is a little uh, stop symbol on it. You're going to click it. If you want to remove add-on console port bar from interface cursor and you're gonna click remove and then you're gonna see the little plus that's what worked for me I'm not sure if that will work for you and that actually made it so that I can use the console port bar so now you're probably thinking well how do I keybind all my stuff with my buttons so you can still use your mouse you just right click on your mouse for your your actual cursor to come back and what you can do is here you can click this on the bottom left hand corner and when you click it it shows all your buttons plus the modifiers for those buttons um, and it'll be as easy as just opening your spell book and drag and dropping everything to where you want it and once you feel that you're comfortable with everything you can turn that off and then you can just do your thing so these were just a few a few little tips and I you know I hope I hope it definitely helps you as it definitely helped me out and still some something is messed up <laughs> with my my add-on because I changed something to kind of mess up my buttons a little bit there But as you can see here, it's pretty simple and easy. And uh, once you get the hang of it, it'll be as easy as, you know, just running around and doing your buttons. Uh, so for example, since my target nearest does not want to work, right? You would click on targeting and target nearest is on LTA, right? So if I wanted to actually put it on LTA, you're gonna open this up, right? And remember B is your confirmation button. So you wanna remember that and you're gonna click LTA right you're gonna click it and then you're gonna click the actual corresponding button you want it to with B and now it puts the targeting on B and then you're gonna press A to save settings and now you wanna make sure that that's working right so you're gonna just run up LT and A which again right now for me is not working for whatever reason uh, oh, okay cuz it's on LB so there's something <laughs> deeply wrong with my add-on in general, but you see it's very easy um, to actually test everything with the add-on. And as you can see here, targeting is never an issue, and when you want to untarget something, you're just going to press your start button. Um, so I hope this helps, uh, and... Before we go, I'll switch off here really quick to healer so that I can show you that all the heals will go through if you want to play healer. I will however suggest that if you are playing healer, 
try not to rely on your directional buttons um, because when you're playing a healer I have to move my buttons around here um, so uh, when you're playing a healer more than likely you have your raid cursor up so you're constantly switching between target and target and target and target, right? So you can't really use my face buttons. As you see, it's not popping berserk when I'm pressing left or anything like that. So if you are going to play a healer, keep in mind that uh, your button setup may be a little bit limited to using your LB, RB, X, Y, B, and A respectively if you use A for anything else besides interacting like I do. Um, so it's as easy as, you know, you just press the buttons and they come out. Now if you wanted to use like for example, berserking or uh, oh, I thought that was Barkston, sorry. So for example, berserking, as you can see when it procs, it actually shows up really nice, the proc on the screen. So you know that you actually have the proc, right? Um, so if I want to use berserking, I have to unselect my raid cursor and then, and then switch back. I find that personally a bit annoying, so if I'm if I know I'm going to be playing healer or I know somebody wants me to heal I make sure that none of my buttons are actually assigned uh, to my directional buttons uh, as you see here I have not really actually played the healer too much because the buttons are not really set up I don't have efflorescence on a button or anything like that but those are the basic principles of just like using the console port add-on I, I hope this helped. Um, I hope you guys like the count support action bar. Uh, the, the creator put a lot of work and time into making this look nice and fresh. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you everybody for coming out and uh, let me know I guess in the comment section or check out the stream at twitch.tv slash d-r-k-y-e-t-i and let me know what you thought of the video. Um, I'll see you guys later and thank you everybody for coming out. Bye everybody.